Staff Sergeant Joseph Faniff was a volunteer citizen soldier of the Connecticut National Guard when he fell in love with his wife, Michelle. Here to share the story of the Faniff family, acclaimed actresses, Mary McCormick and Bailey Madison. Joe lived two towns over from ours. His high school was our arch rival. So I knew who he was. He was cute, no doubt about that. But boy, could he be cocky. One date with Joe was all it took. Fast forward and we're married and raising Ryan, Danielle, and Jordan. Joe became a volunteer firefighter under my dad and coached basketball and baseball. I was working as an EMT and taking care of the kids. After a while, Joe decided to end his stint with the guard to spend more time with us. On September 11th, 2001, Joe called me from work beside himself. He wanted to go right away to help, but I talked him out of it. A few weeks later, we drove into the city. Everything was still covered in dust. When Joe saw the guard patrolling, that's when he started thinking he needed to get back in. He was determined to help track down the terrorists. You weren't gonna mess with his America, not with his world. Not on his watch. Dad was always there for us. I loved his laugh most of all. I was only six the first time that he left for deployment. He tried to act tough, but cried when he hugged us. I didn't understand the magnitude of it. Not then. Joe kept in touch as often as he could from Iraq and Afghanistan. He'd call or email, no matter where he was. And he'd always send photos. There's pictures of him in the barracks, wearing these funny costumes. He would give candy to the kids over there. He was always trying to lift people's spirits. That was my dad. Joe felt invincible. The last email I got from him said, hey, honey, I'll text you when I get back from the mission. I'm off to discover new and uncharted lands. It was early morning, December 16th. Jordan had fallen asleep on my bed. I heard a car drive up. We had this gravel driveway and you could hear the rocks crunching as it rolled past the window. I jumped up to see who it was. When I stepped outside, I saw two men in army uniforms getting out of the car, just like you see in the movies. I knew right then. They came up the steps. Michelle Faneff, can we come in? I got up and went into the living room. I saw my sister Danny, and I was like, what's going on? And she said, Dad. I don't even remember what came out of my mouth. I remember my Danny screaming. She just started screaming. I looked out the window and I saw my aunt crying. And then she collapsed on the driveway. I was so overwhelmed. What do you say? How do you tell your children their world then and there is never gonna be the same. It didn't make sense to me. It never will. I mean, Dad's birthday had only been a few days ago. It was right before Christmas and we had just hung his favorite ornament on the tree. All I wanted to do was curl up in bed and sob my heart out. But I held it together for the funeral. Joe deserved that. And the kids needed to see that. Joe always stood proud for what he believed in. And I was going to honor that. So I stood tall. People kept moving past me in the line. They didn't know what to say to a sad little kid. But then this man that I didn't even know got down on his knee so he could look me into the eyes. And he said, your dad was a hero. You'll understand when you're older how great he was. And I, 
I started crying because, because he was the first person to really see me in that moment. Joe loved Arlington Cemetery, the solemnity, the sense of sacrifice. He told me he wanted to be buried there. People from Eastford, two whole busloads, came to pay their respects. I keep my dad's picture by my bed. Mom made us these scrapbooks with all the pictures of us as a family. And whenever I have a really sad day, I take it off the shelf to help me remember. We always talk about him. We just do. And I hope that I've helped instill in my children that he's still here. Not in the way you want him to be here, I tell them, but in your heart. That's where your father is. I definitely wish that he had been there for things like graduating high school or college or my 21st birthday. But I know that he's watching over me. I know he'd want me to be strong. It means so much to us to know that Joe's officers and fellow soldiers called him a hero for the goodness in his heart to help others. They could count on him. His country could count on him just like we always did. That's why Memorial Day is so important to us, to our family. It's a time for us to close our eyes and remember. We remember my dad. We remember why we have this day and how we got here. It's so important for us to all stop whatever we're doing, even if only for a moment, for Joe and all the men and women who gave their lives to remember. To remember.